Jim Whitley, and he, he will be, uh, the, the nominator was Chris Grappendorf. So here she is. Good afternoon. Uh, it's my pleasure and honor today to be here to introduce Dr. Jim Whitley. Before I begin, I would like to welcome Dee Whitley, who is here today. Dee, if you could stand, please. <laughs> Dr. Whitley joined CSUB in 1971 as one of the founding members of the university on the faculty. Dr. Whitley laid the groundwork for the creation of the physical education department by being involved in developing the curriculum programs and facilities to support the department. Dr. Whitley earned his degrees at the University of California, Berkeley, and published over 25 articles in professional journals, including Research Quarterly and the Journal of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. His research focused on individual differences in strength, speed, and reaction time as it related to movement, and he also spent considerable time in his research and educating the community about the importance of physical fitness, and particularly cardiovascular endurance. Dr. Whitley had a passion for the sciences in the discipline, specifically exercise physiology. In collaboration with his friend and colleague in biology, Dr. Dwayne Bloom, he developed the first human performance laboratory for the department. The significant accomplish this significant accomplishment allowed for laboratory courses to be added to the curriculum and also served as the initial space for faculty and student research in our discipline. Dr. Whitley was an outstanding profession Professor, over the past year, uh, Dr. Whitley's wife, uh, Dee, gave me a lot of his professional materials, including his master's thesis, dissertation, the research article that he's written, many of them uh, articles that he had written for the Bakersfield Californian, materials from his R RTP files, a little bit of everything. So I've had a lot of time to go through uh, those materials. And I found a quote uh, from one of his colleagues that said, students regularly comment on Jim's professionalism in the classroom, his high expectations, and his supportive, relaxed style. He challenges students with difficult material and provides outstanding support for their academic and professional development. In addition to teaching a variety of courses in the curriculum, uh, when I was going through those materials and looking at his uh, resume, he also served in uh, several different administrative positions. He was Dean of School of Education, Vice President for Academic Affairs, and even served as Athletic Director. He served on the Ernest Williams Scholarship Committee, which was a passion project of his, on the Athletic Advisory Committee, Budget, Budget Planning Committee, and was named Outstanding Pro Professor in uh, 1996 and 97. Uh, Dr. Whitley uh, was also very committed to service in the local community. He was involved in supporting local physical education programs. He wrote numerous articles for the Bakersfield Californian uh, about physical fitness, was a member of the American Heart Association, and served on the Kern County chapter of the California Association for Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance. On a more personal note, and why I nominated Jim, was that Jim served on my uh, search committee and hired me to come to CSUB. Jim was the reason that I came here and took the position. His passion and determination to grow the program, his love for the sciences, made me realize that CSUB was the place for me. In my first years at CSUB, uh, when Jim was not traveling the world with his wife, he had hired me and then retired the first the semester when I got here, <laughs> in the corner. Uh, he was off traveling uh, with Dee. He coached football at Stockdale High. But I ran into him all over town. Anywhere I would go out trying to get involved, Jim was there, still being active in all the professional organizations. And he always wanted to know what was going on at CSUB. I will forever remember my last uh, conversation with Jim. In October 2015, we had just opened our new kinesiology labs. And I called Jim to invite him to come see the labs, because he had started them uh, originally here on campus. And I knew he would be very excited to see some of the new equipment that we have. Uh, Jim had just gotten home from having knee surgery, 
but just as I imagined he would be, he was thrilled that we had to develop the new labs and indicated as soon as he could get up uh, and walk, he would be here. Unfortunately, uh, Jim's health had declined later that year and, and he passed away in January 2016. Although he never had a chance to see the labs, I know without a doubt he would have been excited and proud about that and the direction that the program has gone uh, and that he started. Jim's legacy and passion for exercise science will live on forever at CSUB, uh, beginning this year with the help of Dee and a lot of her family and friends. We have um, established the Jim Whitley Scholarship Endowment uh, and we'll begin awarding scholarships to kinesiology majors this year. We're very excited about that. So please uh, join me in honoring Dr. Jim Whitley uh, as of the inaugural, one of the inaugural inductees into the Hall of Fame. Thank you. concludes the first uh, uh, the first uh, faculty hall of fame um, induction ceremony I hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, had a good lunch and so have a good day thank you very much yeah.